Hello, my name is Walter Unglob, and this is how to use departure functions. In thermodynamics, a departure function is meant to mathematically represent the departure from the ideal gas approximation. So, as an example, we have enthalpy, which is denoted by capital letter H. The departure function here would be in terms of the volume and temperature and the compressibility function. So I'll use df for the shorthand for the departure function and it's going to be defined as a positive quantity in this case as the enthalpy calculated under the ideal gas law approximation minus the actual enthalpy of your actual real substance that is not technically an ideal gas divided by the constant, the gas constant, and the temperature. And this is going to be equal to the integral from the volume to infinity of temperature times the partial derivative of the compressibility, Z, with respect to the temperature at that constant volume and we're evaluating this integral with respect to volume from the volume at one state of your system to infinity and if we properly derive this we have to add one and subtract the compressibility so once you calculate this what you have is the departure a positive number. Technically the departure function is defined as the negative of this, so it would be a negative number, but for the sake of uh, plotting and straightforwardness, most textbooks define the departure function in this manner. So how would we use this? Well, say we have the enthalpy of a substance at volume 1 and temperature 1, and we want to know how this enthalpy changes from these external parameters to a different set, a volume 2 and temperature 2. Well, step 1 is you would calculate the departure function evaluated at V1, going from V1 to infinity, at temperature 1. The next step would be to calculate actually the difference in the enthalpy going from this state to this state using the ideal gas law approximation. And finally, once you've done that, we have to subtract from that addition the departure function evaluated at the final state which is to say from the second volume to infinity at temperature 2. And this is how one would employ the departure function, in this case for enthalpy, to extract information and find the difference between the changes in certain thermodynamic quantities in, an, in a real actual substance versus an ideal gas law approximation. We can also do the same for entropy, internal energy, and some other thermodynamic quantities of interest. My name is Walter Unglob and this is How to Use Departure Functions.